All right, Ralph, you know, we, we heard the, the other side of this story from 49ers CEO Jed York about a week ago. And here at, at opening night, we get Kyle Shanahan's side of the story that apparently he thought Brock Purdy was their best quarterback this entire time. Yeah, I mean, he look, he loves everything about Brock Purdy. Uh, he says he loves him from the absolute start. Um, you know, he's he praises him constantly. He thinks he's one of the best stories that the NFL has and, you know, should be right up there with all the rest of the elite quarterbacks. I don't think it's any surprise. Um, you know, maybe it's a little bit revisionist history. It's hard to tell. But, you know, Kyle Shanahan insists that Brock Purdy is his guy for a reason. It's not a happy accident. He just thinks he's that, that talented and that good. You know, sure, he wants to pump up his guy a little bit, too, in, in heading into his biggest game where a lot of people don't think he belongs on the same field with Patrick Mahomes. But obviously, Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers do. That's the perfect segue because, and look, we were talking about this before we started recording, is these these media nights have become, it's such a circus. You got celebrities there. You got all all kinds of you know, it's such a big moment. And obviously Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and a lot of members of the Kansas city chiefs have been through this before Brock Purdy has not. And yet he seemed to handle the whole thing just with this air of, of cool and, and casual. You know, I see a lot of people bring up Joe Montana these days when they talk about him. And that's kind of what it reminded me of is he just, he looked really unflappable dealing with, with a very stressful environment, which I guess at this point shouldn't be a surprise. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I mean, to be a quarterback who gets his team to this point, you sort of have to have ice in your veins and not be phased by the stuff around you. He's obviously been in big games, been in big situations. I'm sure there was a little part of him that looked around, saw the, the, I mean, the stadium was half full. The whole lower bowl was filled just to get a glimpse of these guys and listen to them talk. Uh, that's unusual. So I'm sure Part of him was looking around thinking that this is obviously something different. I'm sure that, you know, maybe there were a little bit of nerves and maybe that'll creep in as you get closer to the game. But, um, you know, if he was a guy who could be rattled, he probably wouldn't have gotten this far. They probably wouldn't be riding him all the way to the Super Bowl. So, uh, you know, just part of who he is, what's in his DNA.